Hello and welcome to Bernie Curran Oval here in the beautiful University of Newcastle. The rain has just stopped. It's a good night for Friday night football, the Quizmasters Friday night football. I'm Paul Arundale and alongside me I've got Gabby Miller. Good evening, Gabby. Good evening, Paul. How are we? Very good. Uh, ask me in a couple of hours how I'm feeling. It's quite a bit chilly up here. You're rugged up, but I'm in shorts and a t-shirt. Yeah, I know. Crazy man. Crazy man indeed. It is quite cold out here. Quite wet conditions. Well, both sides are out in the centre now. We've got the university team against the Awabigal United team. They're making their debut in the A-grade Ladies League Tag competition tonight. So it should be a good contest. Uh, we'll try and get through the teams here. University is Veda Shaw at fullback. We've got uh, Reading Jones, two, Tamara Love, Samantha Mead, Sari Harwood, Ashley Ward, Jordan Sheaves, Bree Halton, Rebecca Jenkins, Jess Murray, Nisa Case, Christine Norton, Caitlin Hassett, Sophie Paris-Lang, Claire Spain, Alana Hemsley and Lauren Pitt. The Awabagal United team is Joe Smith, the captain, Lauren McCoy, Bonnie Simon, Kyla, Kylie Dunning, Kimberly Sharp, Fiona Jones, Beerley Cutmore, Alina Sloan Harris, Arena Ahoy, James Moran, Lisa Manu, Ramada Selway, I hope I got that right, uh, Ida Rosa Green, Jamie Lee Cutmore, Elisa Meredith, Janaya Naji, and we've got Amanda Williams as my paper just blows away, Braden Sloan Harris, and Jessica Parker. So we're about to get underway. How do you see this one going? Um, I think it will be an interesting game. I mean, Uni have been playing some strong footy and they haven't really had an off season, but I'm very curious to see how these Awapical girls go. So, yeah, I think it's going to be a competitive match for sure. Well, we're about to get underway as that wind uh, picks up. It's uh, going to get chilly later on and uh, just getting the uh, ball on the kicking tee. See if the, uh, the ball stays on the tee. And we're about to get underway of Quizmaster Trivia Friday Night Rugby League here at the Newcastle Hunter Rugby League. It's a bit of a mouthful. And the referee's going to get a sore arm holding that up in the air like that for that long as the uh, timekeepers just try to get the clock right. Can hear plenty of beeping. Maybe they've run out of batteries. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? Everyone's shaking their heads. I don't have a clue what's happening. Bit like us in our setup. <laughs> and we're underway in Quizmaster Trivia's Friday night football here at Bernie Curran Oval. Not a bad kickoff going down in front of the goalpost. And Bonnie Simon takes the first hit up. Just about, just near the 20 metre line. As we go to the uh, right-hand side of the field, this is the number 17. As my paper knocks me again, Sloane Harris. I think she played with Cardiff Cobras last year. There's a few Macquarie Scorpions in this Awabakal United lineup. Sloane Harris again. Out it goes, out to the left. I apologise early if we get these names wrong. It's pretty hard up here from the distance. And it's the first time I've con commentated Ladies League. So you're a bit of a veteran. I've become a veteran of Ladies League Tag. Um very interesting. That was a big hit just then. Down on the ground, Bree Halton goes. But, um, yeah, Ladies League tags become very prominent. So I am a veteran of commentating it now. It certainly is. I think there's about 14 teams in the Newcastle Hunter Second Division competition. As that ball just goes to the ground. Just uh, university's side of halfway. Their first opportunity with the ball. Now, you're an original she-horse. I am an original she-horse. I've watched the she-horses play in two grand finals um, since. So, yeah, they're doing really well. I think they'll have a bit of consistency this year and hopefully try and take out the top title. Um, yeah, they've had the same team again this year. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting for them. Away goes, who's that? Jess Murray? Sheaves. Jessica Sheaves with the ball. She'll go in underneath the post for the first try. Sorry to take the mic away. <laughs> We're working with one microphone tonight. So, uh We'll get that. So well, we've got just uh, Sh Jordan Sheaves down on the paper here, right. number seven. So um, we'll stick with that. Yeah. If uh, Mr. and Mrs. Sheaves are sitting at home or um, her partner, give us a text. <laughs> let us know on Twitter or Facebook if we've got the number seven right. But it's University 4-0 with the kick to come right in front. And it looks like it's going to be Samantha Mead that will take this conversion. What's her kicking style like? I have no idea. I don't even remember this girl. I don't think she played last year. I don't, I'm don't. i pretty sure she wasn't their kicker in the grand final. So um, we'll wait and see, won't we? I love your honesty. No <laughs> idea. So here we go, Mead. Strikes it nice. I tell you what, it's a beautiful kick, and it's 6-0 to University over Awapakal United. 
It wasn't a bad strike at all. That was a pretty good strike. Right in front, straight over the black dot. What it seemed like, I can't see that. I'm pretty blind. <laughs> and that's why we've got you as special commentator tonight. <laughs> So as the crowd goes silence, I, thought, I think they've just heard a couple of gibbers up the top deck, wondering what the hell they're talking about. Well, you got it right. We are gibbering on. It's going to be a long night. No, it won't be. It's going to be a good night of football. I hope you're enjoying it if you're at home, overseas or wherever. Friday night football. Quizmasters trivia bring it this year. It's not a bad kick. It's a hard one to uh, pick up there by Jenkins. She gets away from one, but eventually she's been tagged. We've got two 25s out there. So a good run there by Ward. So they go through the hands again. This is Jenkins. No, it decides to take a hit up. What's the thinking here? Do you just take it up for a couple and then throw it like, like the men do? Whoa. Big hits there. Um, I think so. Like in this kind of weather, you don't want to be playing around with the football too much this early in the game. So I think the girls are, from the horses are playing smart footy so far by just taking it up. Definitely. That's what I'd do. Well, Houghton will get us underway. It's the second penalty of the match to Uni. Inside pass there. Oh, they're still going here. No, it's a tag there. So Ward will give that back to uh, Sheaves, who scored the first try. Is Houghton again. Inside runner there and Shaw. She gets through. She's still going. Play on. She gets around the fullback. She's still going. And Vader Shaw is going to score the second try for University. And she'll run around to put it underneath the post. And it's 10 nil of a kick to come. It's good footy by the horses. A um, little bit of an error in there. A little bit of an Oztag move. But, um, yeah, good footy. Good ball by Ash Ward, definitely. Vader Shaw runs the ball hard. So, yeah, watch her all game, definitely. Oz tag, league tag, what's the difference? Oz tag, league tag. Uh, rugby league rules, except for a scrum, no front rowers in league tag. Um, you can't do a 360, so by that, if you run the ball and you do a circle, um, then it's obviously a penalty. In Oz tag, you can do a 360. Pretty much, you can kick the ball above the shoulders in league tag, can't kick the ball above the shoulders in Oz tag other than a dropout. So. Rules are a little bit different, um, and it's a lot more physical in league tag. Well, Mead will uh, line this one up again. She struck the one. Oh, she's just absolutely clouted that. That's, uh, that's at Warrabrook. It's 12-0. 12-0 to University. Lovely kick there from Samantha Mead. And uh, well, Awabakal bring it back for the second time. They're a new club, Awabakal United. There's a few sprinkling of players from other clubs. As I mentioned before, a few from the Macquarie Scorpions have come over and um, a few from the Cardiff side as well. So uh, it's good to see them out here having a go. Definitely. Um, they can only learn from this first year in the comp. So obviously the expectations won't be too high, but they've got a couple of great players in there that have come from the Scorps. Um, Bonnie Simon, I remember playing against her for Scorps and she was absolutely unbelievable. She's got freakish talent, so she'll be one to watch this year. Well, we're back underway now as the uni take it up to about 25 out from their own line. Shaw, the try scorer. This looks like Jenkins again with the ball. She's been busy early. So they're looking to go to the left-hand side again, the short side through Houghton. This is Houghton with the ball. She gets it up to the 40. That was Ward, I beg your pardon. Going to make plenty of mistakes like that tonight. So um, just enjoy. So up to the 40 again. Jenkins, she's had the ball plenty of times, so I can remember that one. Yeah, she has had the ball plenty of times, doing plenty of hit-ups, like we call it in league tag, so she's working hard in there, and it's a good chase on the kick by the Seahorses, um, and a great tag by Nisa Case. Well, that was Simon back there at fullback. And uh, the second hit up there for the Orbicle side now. This is Sloan Harris again. Up to the 30. So they'll just want to do the simple things right out here and try and get a good kick away on the fifth? Definitely. Um, they look like, a few of these girls look like they might have a decent boot on them. So, um, yeah, I'll charge down by Ash Ward. Play on by the ref. Oh, he's playing on. <laughs> was it a charge down or was it like, oh, gee, this is coming my way? <laughs> I don't know. She might want to duck. Don't want to ruin the face. <laughs> that was sharp. They got the kick away and there's been a mistake down there. Tamara Love, it's the first time I've mentioned a name. She's made a mistake. I apologise. So this will be uh, Meredith that will play the ball for Awabakal. We don't have the number one on our sheet, so uh, apologise. We've got a few late ones coming in. As that was sharp with the ball. 
So they go to the left side. That was Simon to Sloan Harris. I really should have got some tape for this clipboard so I could keep the names down on the paper so the wind doesn't blow it away. Anyway, this is uh, Awabigal's best chance of attack so far. They get up the 10. That's a good run there. Jessica Parker, I believe it is. As they're heading towards the, the skyscraper, and we'll call it. Or do we, oh, it's intercept there. Intercept by Ward. Ashley Ward, they won't catch it. Well, they know there's been a penalty. The referee has ruined all the fun once again. What was that for? Did you know? Um, I'm not quite sure what he's called that for. It looked like a pretty clean take, so I'm unsure. I would have played on personally. But um, obviously, a Wobbuck will get the ball, and we get to see them attack 10 out from the line. So bring it on, hey? Yes, important set for uh, a Wobbuck here. So go to the left side again. Sloan Harris. So they got numbers both sides. They decide to go to the left side again. That's Smith. The captain of the Awabakal side. Go the short side again. I'm not sure who that is out there. It's too far for my eyes. There's Smith again. Bit of a wrap around there. Finds it's the winger there. It looks like number 12. The referee likes it. It's a good try there. And would you believe it, we do not have number 12 on our sheet. <laughs> Sod's law. So a Awabakal score their first try. Good comeback. They haven't had much ball early, but a couple of back-to-back -back sets there, and they went the short side and scored a very good try. So it's a, a Wobbicle 4, University 12, but a very hard kick. That wind has stopped at the moment, so um, should be an easy kick, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, I'd get it all every day of the week, so <laughs> she can go for it. Won't put too much pressure on her, but that was a beautiful play by Jo Smith, I think it is. She's, um, I'm pretty sure she's a touch footballer, so there's a few touch footballers in this side. Um, good start, good start for the Wobbicle girls. Let's hope they keep building on this, but obviously I'm a she-horse, so I'm picking them to win. <laughs> well, I'm from Lake Macquarie, and uh, so I'm going for a Wobbicle United. So uh, already, we're divided. We're divided, 100%. <laughs> So it looks like it's going to be Smith to take this kick. About five metres in from touch. The wind's going across the face. So you'd be aiming for that uh, upright closest to you. But uh, it's just going to fall short. Not a bad attempt. And it remains 12-4 to University over a Wobbicle here at Bernie Curran Oval. This is the Quizmasters Trivia Friday Night Football here. Uh, if you haven't done Quizmasters trivia before, I suggest you get out to a local pub and try it. I've uh, gone to my local a couple of times, the Iron Horse, and uh, Sarah and I have not done very good at trivia. It's all my fault, apparently. I think it is all your fault, because she's got quite the brains when it comes to trivia. I'm bloody hopeless. So don't ask me to join your team whatsoever. I'll send you up the wrong path. Hopeless. Well, I might get you along, because then she can blame somebody else. <laughs> So we're about to get back underway here. Three tries early. There's a bit of a hush around the crowd at the moment as the ball falls off the tee again. Now I've said it plenty of times. Restarts in rugby league is my favourite part. There's so many thing, weird things can happen. I saw a guy last year caught the ball in the head. All he had to do was catch it. People slip over, they fumble it, or they just watch it go over the dead ball line. Goes down to Smith. Good hands in the uh, greasy conditions out here. Oh, she almost got through, but tagged on the 20-metre line. So that's a good run there. 25 out from the line. I'll go centre field to Smith. Looking to link up. Does the dummy. Beg your pardon, that Simon out there. So they go to the right side again. Just doing simple football, would you say, at this stage? Simple football, definitely. Um, just taking one-ups and then getting it for a kick. That's a solid kick, but I don't know who kicked that ball, but it's a great kick and good chase by Wobbicall. It's very hard to see the uh, Wobbicall numbers from here, but uh, I think it was Sharp with the kicking boots on, number 10. And that was Jenkins again with another hit-up. A few rep players in this uh, university squad. Is This is... Uh, that was Ward again. I think she's a rep player, is he? 
she is a rep player, so we'll be versing the rep girls at training next Wednesday night um, at Charlestown at Central. So, yeah, it'll be a good hit out for us because these girls have been playing a lot of tag, obviously. So, yeah, it's going to be a solid comp. Rep team, how many will they win by? Oh, I don't know. It'll be interesting. I can't, I can't say that. When I played in the rep team in my first year, I lost by, I think, 60 points. Well, let's play on. <laughs> We've got a play on here situation here, dancing around the traffic. Got to over there. Looks like it's another try to the number 13. That's Nisa Case out there. It was a good run there by Bree Halton. And uh, Nisa Case gets the University Seahorses third try. Yeah, the uni uh, seem like they're just settling into the game and the girls look like they're having a bit of fun out there. So, um, yeah, the ref was a bit behind on that play. I think they put the ball over the line. The ref was still on the 10 meter line. Just like the commentator. He's in good company here. <laughs> Yeah, we are a bit slow. That's okay, though. We've had a long day. Yeah, it's been a very long day, believe it, and a long night. <laughs> I don't want it to be a long night. Quick, good footy, that's all we care about. So this is just to the right of the post. So this is uh, Mead's most difficult kick. But if she struck the this one like she struck the last two, she'll have no problem. I'd put 100 bucks, she'll get it over. 100%. So you watch, he smashed it again, straight between the uprights. It is 18 points to four. University over Awabakal here at Bernie Curran Oval. This is Quizmaster Trivia's Friday Night Football. And uh, picturesque ground here, a university. They play cricket in the summer. Also rugby here. You'll see that on Bar TV Sports as well, the uh, university rugby. I'll tell you what, these um, apartments at the uh, southern end of the ground. How good would it be to live in one of those? Geez, they look nice. I reckon I could move in there. Be cheaper rent than what I pay now. So I, I reckon I could enjoy it. Right near a footy field, it'd be in heaven. I was just about to say a football nuts dream like myself. Wake up and you look at a couple of goalposts. <laughs> so we're back underway. That was Paris Lang with the ball. They go the short side. Good tag there by the number 24 for Awabakal. So they go through the hands again. Almost through there was uh, Paris Ling. Another hit up there. So Case at dummy half. So substitutes coming on here for Uni. That was Hemsley. Shaw again, the fullback, coming up for a run. So they can go both sides. They come to the left. On the toe it goes from, uh, from Sheaves. And it's been fumbled by Simon. It's been picked up there by Case. She's wrapped up. Haven't seen the referee rule six to go. No. What's he ruled? I have no idea what he's called there. Well, Wobbicle he's called ball. a knock on. Yeah, but I thought a no Wobbicle knocked it on first. Went straight, on, went straight through the, off the chest, through the arms, to the front. And then Nisa Case picked it up. So, I don't know. I disagree with that call right there. <laughs> Controversy early. <laughs> so here we go. Down the short side of Wobbicle. They've already scored points down that short side. But they're a long way out from the uh, try line. So you get up to the 30 metre zone. That was Parker. Sharp. That was a lovely pass, but it's gone to ground. And the referee's called knock on. Interesting, interesting play by Wobbicle. I think um, I think Bonnie Simon might have got a bit excited in there and wanted a quick ball to run hard onto and she just missed the pass, so here we go. Wobbicle defend again. Let's see what Uni can bring. So Water play it. Case at dummy half. Fast ball there to Hemsley. Wonder if she's uh, any relation to Kerry Hemsley, former Balmain Tiger from the 80s. I wasn't born then, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Google him. <laughs> That's a good run there from uh, Mead. Is Mead going to get on the try line? No, she's not. So uh, they come back to the left. And Shaw almost getting through there. They're marking heavily on her. So it looks like Case again at dummy half. Ward. Out it goes there to Sheaves. 18 with the ball. That was Paris Lang. Almost through. It's the last tackle. So they go centre field again. Sheaves puts it on the toe. The fullback's coming around. It's going to bounce. It's going to go dead. 20 metre restart. 
was an interesting play by the horses. I thought they might go through the hands a bit more, but um, they decided to go for their kick. So I think they're pretty dangerous when they put it through the hands. So a wobble call. Let's watch them bring it out. Let's see if they can get another try, even it up before half time. Well, another substitute for University. Lauren Pitts just come on the field in jersey 19. And already can hear the talk from her straight away. <laughs> She seems excited and revved up in the orangey red boots. Look at her go. So a Wobbicle again, bringing it out from the 20 metre zone. Short pass there. Ooh, bit of a shoulder. It's allowed. It's allowed to be a little bit of niggle in, in Ladies League take, surely. Here they go. Short side again. Inside pass to Simon. And she's wrapped up in the 40 metre zone. This is sharp. Hard ball there. Difficult pass from the number 12. We don't have her on our um, team list. Just the number 12, that is. This is Smith, the captain. Just over halfway. It's the last tackle now. Yeah, back to Sharp. Gets it on the left foot. Not a bad kick in the end. Around the ground on the, on the wet turf. It's always going to be hard to catch. Definitely a smart kick rather than putting it up in the air. She just grubbed it along. So, yeah, smart footy by Wobbacool. Good tag. I think that's number 12 again. She's playing some good footy. So short side here. That's Spain out there, Claire Spain. And uh, the referee just says take it back to the mark. Back underway now. Sheaves with the ball. It's the 14. Hemsley. Shaw. Dummy almost got through but wrapped up. Inside of Wobbicles, half again now. Here we go with Ward putting that on the toe. Not a bad kick. The runners are coming through. Simon's going to have to pick it up quickly. She does. So they'll run it in again here. And we've got a penalty. It's incorrect play the ball. Yeah, I believe so. But, um, yeah, I thought he might be a little bit lenient. But, no, nah, he's put the foot down and said not acceptable. So here we go. Uni are on the tack again. So looking for their fourth try. It's 18 points to four. And uh, just getting their, uh, their shape already here. They're going to put on a move. Who knows? Inside pass. It's going everywhere. But it looks like a breakdown. And uh, Spain's wrapped up on the 10-metre line. It's Case at dummy half. They find Ward. Ward pops it out. It's gone. The ground's picked up. And it's been a knock on. So a Wobbicle will save that, survive that. A Wobbicool do survive that. They've actually been defending quite well. I mean, Uni have been playing in the comp. This is, what, their third year now. So for them, the score to be the way it is currently, um, a Wobbicool should be proud of themselves. Um, defending pretty hard. It's a good game. So no time off, but the ref's called time off, time on. So uh, I guess it's just getting into a good habit early for a young referee. <laughs> yeah, he's a young referee. I don't know anything about him, but... Learning the skills as well. I mean, not many refs know how to ref ladies' league tag. So um, it's a good run there by... Who's that? <laughs> it's a very good run by the... Jamie Lee Cutmore. Well, Jamie Lee Cutmore, good run there. So we go again up to the 40-metre zone. So Ken Wobbicle sparks something from this attack. Here's Smith looking for a runner. She just takes it herself. Numbers both sides. And they go to the left-hand side. That looks like Dunning out there. Running back inside. Will she find support? No, she's been tagged. It's the last tackle. They can go either way here. Goes back to Sharp. She just pumps that down. It's not a bad kick. It's been deflected. But well picked up in the end there by Paris Lang. Did well to trap that with the boots. She did. She did. I was a little bit nervous. I thought she might have put a hand to the ball. But she kept her hands away. And, yeah, Uni are on the tack again. Well... Still a bit of drizzle out here, but it's still okay to come down and watch the football later on. We've got uh, Westy, West Walls in taking on University. So uh, if you're at home and don't want to come to the ground, you can tune into Bar TV Sports for the Quiz Masters Trivia Friday night footy. But at the moment, it's the University She Horses leading 18 points to four over a Wobbicle United here in the Ladies League Tag A grade. It's not a bad kick there by Sheaves. And uh, Simon will go back almost to the 10-metre mark to pick it up. 
I can hear a little whistle. I hope that's not the uh, the smoke alarm or something going off in the kitchen. Yeah, I hope not. The boys cooked the sausage rolls, so let's hope they haven't burnt anything. <laughs> well, let's stop there. So um, what are the sausage rolls like here? Um, pretty delicious, actually. Could probably go one for dinner. You'd probably enjoy one too. <laughs> I had some bacon and eggs today for lunch, so uh, I better not have any more. That's a very good run there. That's... Uh, Dunning, I believe it is, as that rain starts to come down again. We we'll won't have to get a bit of shelter. Sharp, short. And she did a dummy there. She had Simon on her outside, but decided to take the ball. Simon now, she'll uh, run to the line and put it on the toe. It'll go down, splits the fullback and the winger. But uh, Jenkins is there to uh, clean it up in the end. Guess of the 20-metre zone. And... Uh, We'll just uh, sort of walk back inside a bit under cover as the rain. It's probably about the heaviest it's been all night. It's not too heavy. But, uh, sometimes, sometimes we are a little bit soft here at Bar TV. So University will bring this out on their own try line. Very good tag there by, uh, looks like the number 10 there, Kimberly Sharp. So Sheaves. Puts that on the toe. It's gone high, but hasn't got the distance. But I tell you what, another 15's running through. She's got the good pickup. Very well done there by uh, Spain. So come the left side now. This is Case. Finds Sheaves. Links up with Ward. Ward finds the uh, number 18 there in Paris Lang. And referee has ruled handover. This rain's getting pretty heavy. Yeah, smart footy there um, by Ash Ward to hold on to the ball and not do anything silly, but Wabakul are going to bring it out from their line. Let's see how they go. Well, last time I did a Newcastle Hunter game, I was on the camera. It was one of the biggest downfalls I'd ever seen. That was Windale South Newcastle last year. We don't have the same conditions here at the moment. Let's hope it doesn't get that way because we've got a lot of footy coming over the weekend. Where are you at? Um, I'm supposed to be versing Scorps this weekend, but obviously Scorps don't have a team. So I just train on Sunday before the boys and get the weekend off to sit and relax and enjoy a bit of footy for once rather than play it. So, yeah. Well, uh, it's good outdoor weather this weekend. It's a shame you got the bye. <laughs> it's not a bad kick. It's missed uh, Shaw. It's going to find touch. And that is half time. So the girls can get in the sheds, try to keep warm. Half time here in Quizmasters Trivia, Friday night football here at Bernie Curran Oval. It's a university. City Horses 18, Awabaku United 4. We'll be back with the second half. Hopefully, this rain disappears.
Welcome back to Quizmasters Friday Night Football here at beautiful Bernie Curran Oval here at the University. Um, we didn't think the rain could get any heavier, but, uh, well, I was wrong. It is absolutely persisting down. And uh, the University girls are back out there on the field. We're still waiting for the Wobbacal guys. They're probably thinking, yeah, bugger it, we'll just stay in the sheds. Interesting first half. Uh, the She-Horses, uh, three tries to one. Uh, bit of a surprise at Wobbicle so far. Yeah, Wobbicle have played um, a solid game so far. So, But as I said at the start, they've got a few girls that have had an experience with league tag and there's a few touches in there as well. So I wouldn't pass, put them down to be a team that's learning exactly. They've got a fair bit of experience. So let's see what the second half can bring along. Hopefully it uh, brings along. Well, we won't, yeah, so we won't get sunshine. <laughs> If we do get sunshine, I believe the world is going to end. Out they come, the second half, the Orbital side, led out there by the captain, Joe Smith. Now, I was just starting to learn the players' names, but to uh, make things more interesting, our uh, notes have just been ruined. So um, pretty much the, uh, the team lists are now just a blur. So um, we'll do our best. We're clearly winging it. But that's okay, it's Friday night. So we can wing it and have a good guess. Where did that saying, wing it, come from? Oh, I have no idea, to be honest. I have no idea. I can Google it if you'd like and tell you by, before the end of the game, but no idea. I just thought it was because wingers, the forwards say, the wingers have got no ideas and they're just winging it. Lucky I'm not a winger then. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's the, the hooter to get the second half underway. I'm just waiting for a kicking tee. And uh, the rain keeps coming. What get you to stand that side if you want, Gabby? We're just uh, playing a little bit of musical chairs. So Hootie goes again for the second time. Probably wishing that was full time. Back underway, the second half. The she horse is going to pick up the ball on the 10 metre zone and run it back. And uh, what a start to uh, the Newcastle and Hunter Rugby League season. It's been. Pretty much it's been fine for the last 12 months. Season starts up again and it starts bucketing down. This is footy. You know it's footy season when you're playing weather like this. That's why I got excited last weekend. There was a bit of rain and thought, footy's back. How exciting. Well, it's uh, eased off a bit now, which is good. So uh, if you're sitting at home thinking, oh, I may not come down, you should. Sure, there's plenty of cover. Not for the commentators or cameramen. We're doing it tough, but we're, uh, we'll soldier on. So not a bad kick there on the 30-metre line. Uh, the number 13's taken that. That's Jamie Moran. Good dart from dummy half as Smith. Gets up with the 40. So they go centre field now. Quick tag there by Sheaves. And Sharp. Throws the ball to Sloan Harris. Good pass there. Almost gets through. It looks like Williams out there. Number 20. Apologies again. It's very hard to see the numbers. Sloan Harris. Looks like Sharp again. Williams, I beg your pardon. This is Sharp with the ball. Not a bad kick. Tough one for the fullback Shaw. Let's it bounce. And uh, we'll run that back through the line. Almost gets through. Good tag there by Sloan Harris. Beautiful conditions for footy, as you said. <laughs> Beautiful conditions. I'm really, like, upset that I'm not out there playing. Um, I wouldn't want to be rugged up on the sideline at all. <laughs> <laughs> Back underway. <laughs> and that's not a bad run there. That's uh, Ashley Ward out there, the number six. And the rain's almost stopped now. That pass has gone to ground, and uh, it'll be a handover. A wobbicle ball. We'll just regroup here. Go to the short side. Williams cuts inside. She got away from one, but eventually wrapped up. Got 22 out from the line. So they go through the hands. This is Sharp. This just looks like Williams with the ball. Or Parker, is it? On the toe from Simons. Not a bad kick. If they can tag her in goal, they'll get a, another set. A six. What are we doing here? The referee's not sure, but uh, players down on the ground. She looks like she's lost a headband or she's lost a tag. Uh, Shaw, the fullback. Looks like the ball's on this side of the try line, so play the ball for the Seahorses. 
right on the try line. Let's look at a Wobbicles defence. So uh, the referee's happy with things, and we're going to get back underway. Bit of a scamper from dummy half. Didn't get too far there was the uh, number nine, Halton. Here are the hands again. This case. Plenty of talk out there. Yeah, lots of screaming. But, um, yeah, plenty of talk from both defence and attack. So the girls are keen. Oh, solid hit. That was a big hit out there by Jess Murray. I think it was Parker that landed on her backside, but she got up straight away. Good credit. Almost through the gap there was uh, Sheev. She's having a very good game, the number seven for University. Oh, and the ball goes down. So it's picked up. A has got it. And the referee's going to say, no, we'll just... I don't know what he's ruled there, but... I think he's called the play back. So he's going to play um, the knock-on. Obviously, like, he didn't see the... He might, I think he already blew his whistle, actually, before Joe picked up the ball. So here we go. Let's see what a Wobbick will have. 20 metres out from the line. They go the short side. It's... Uh, who we got out there? That's uh, Meredith on that far side. Sloan Harris in the 17. So, about 15 out from the line. They'll come the left side this time. This is Sharp. Inside pass, back inside to Williams. Sloan Harris again. She was uh, trying to put a tag on and had to catch it. That's a pretty good effort. It's a pretty good effort with one tag. So, I, yeah, especially in this weather, good handling by her. I know a cameraman that was uh, filming and caught a cricket ball one hand at the SCG once. That's talent. I couldn't do that. Oh, I thought a Wobbicle were in then. <laughs> Very close to the line. They're about five out. So they go back in the centre field. They put it on the toe. It's not a bad kick. It's going to hold up. And uh, Shaw just boots it over the sideline. So we'll have our first line drop out of the game. Yeah. Let's see how... I um, wonder if... Is it Mead that's been kicking? Let's see how she can drop kick. I think that's the hardest task for females to drop kick. So let's see how we go. Yes, well... Uh, there's one drop kick holding the microphone at the moment. Doing the best he can. <laughs> it's not a bad strike. Kick, yeah. 30 metres on the fly. It's picked up by Bonnie Simon. Here we go. Bonnie Simon taking it to the 20 metre zone. They come the left side. This is Parker. Line Smith. And here we go. Sloan Harris again. Good tag there by Ward. Short side again, as Dunning, almost through, bit of a push there, but uh, the referee says, "No, nah, we'll let it go." So here we go again. Now ten metres out, last tackle. What can a Wobbicle do? Can they get a repeat set again? Go to the left side, Sharp puts him on the tail. It's not a bad kick, and oh, it's almost taken, but a knock on, and another repeat set for uh, a Wobbicle. Yeah, that's a great kick. Um, two repeat sets for a Wobbicle. Let's see if they can convert this and put some points onto the board. Yeah, what can they do? It's 18-4, the she-horses over a Wobbicle. Yeah, the short side was Smith. Almost something, almost something there. Good tag there by the number 12. That's Murray. Good run there by Parker. So Simon runs across field looking for numbers. Eventually she's been tagged. So still centre field. Parker goes dummy half, finds Sharp. And she's tagged. So they can go to the right side. They do. Quick play the ball. Here's Sloan Harris. She's almost through. She is through. Referee's thinking about it. He's going to have a chat to his touch judge. Let's see what happens here. The drama try she's released the ball so in the league tag um, rulings if you release the ball over the line after you attempt to score a try it's an immediate turnover so if you go to score a try and don't hold on to the ball then it's a turnover to the other team so interesting rules for league tag better watch the highlights of Cessnock and Maitland though. <laughs> I've watched a few highlights of Cessnock and Maitland and I kind of cringed a couple of times at a few of the rulings, so I hope I don't get that ref. <laughs> oh, oh that's, that's horrible. No, the referees do a very good job. And uh, 
They do a great job. I mean, uh, shout out to John Taylor, too. He played his last, or well, refereed his first, last, first grade game. I'll get it right. Sorry, John. He's been a great referee at Newcastle Rugby League. And, uh, well, we've got a knock on again. So another opportunity for a Wobbicall now. I still haven't uh, had an opportunity to uh, call Lisa Manu out there on the field. Used to go to school with Lisa, so uh, good to see her being active and playing footy. Uh, these days I can't do much at my age. <laughs> you are getting a few grey hairs, mate. Hate to say it, but you're going to be a dad soon, so <laughs> you're going to have to pick up the game. <laughs> these, the key finger in these rooms going to be a dad. Um, yeah, I'm getting a greyhound. <laughs> That's about as good as it gets. It's the first step to having children, I heard, getting a dog. So let's see how we go. He'll spoil it rotten. I want to dress it up in a Santa outfit. <laughs> well, more important things. Let's get back to footy here. Shark gets to the ball. Just cut that straight out as we do. Good try. We got a chance? No. Referee says take it back. Good tag there. Well, so now. It's a Simon. It's just gone out the back. It's on the ground. Dived on. University get the ball. No, we have a penalty. So another opportunity for Awabakal United. As the rain comes back. The number four wasn't happy with that. Threw the ball on the ground. Here comes the rain and here come Awabakal. So the uni have had a couple of tough defending sets here. So let's see how they go. So very good uh, pressure here from Awabakal. But can they get points? Quick ball back to Sharp. I don't think she was expecting it. it was very... So there you go. Dart again from dummy half. Simon runs back into Smith and so it's been tagged there. Oh, a few words have been spoken. Let's play on. Parker out to Williams. That's the number 12 there, which we don't have on our sheets. <laughs> Stop passing in the ball. Here's Smith for the ball. Runs line back inside. Picks out with a 12. Almost a chance. And been a tag again. So they're getting so close to Wobbicle. And now we've got a penalty. Another penalty on the line for a Wobbicle. They really need to start playing some good footy here and try and convert these penalties. Um, I think they're testing the uni defence out a fair bit and they're getting quite frustrated with the calls. So we'll wait and see. Well, another set of six for a Wobbicle. That pass almost went out the back to nobody. Simon is flat-footed. Eventually tagged. The referee doesn't like it, so uh, Bonnie Simon has to play that five centimetres to the left. So we're back underway with Williams. Good pass there. There's a chance here. Oh, It's gone backwards. It should be a try. It looks like it's a try to uh, Kylie Dunning out there on the wing. No, the referee keeps spoiling the party. <laughs> 100% has spoiled the party. I thought a Wobbicle were in for sure. It looked like the ball went backwards, but obviously the touchy has called it different and it's gone forward. So here's Bree Houghton on the attack. Very good run there by Bree Houghton. Tell you what, this referee he could be a good poker player too, the way he's um, keeping us guessing. <laughs> he is keeping us guessing. He looks very interested in the game, so anything could happen. Quick uh, play the ball there. That's uh, Houghton with the ball. Almost through. She is through. There's no support. No, the tag's on the ground. Smith fell to the ground there. But we've got a penalty to University. So this half has been pretty much played down the University end. This will be the first time, I believe, this half that uh, they'll be in a Wobbegals half. Yeah, so this is the first time we'll probably see Uni attack since the kickoff. Um, so it will be interesting to see how they go. The rain's eased up a little bit. Um, a few hard runs by Nisa Case and Jordan Sheave should um, see how we go. Well, that's Houghton almost through again. She made a break a minute ago. So Sheaves with the ball. Good tag there. 30 out from the Owabical line. Case. Looked like she was going to kick then, but uh, hang on to it. That's uh, Ward. Case. Sheaves. Runs to the line, almost through. She is through. She's got one to beat. Good tag there by Bonnie Simon back there at fullback. Had to be made. So you got numbers both sides. They're going to go the short. And uh, Houghton runs from dummy half, finds the number 12. It's uh, Jess Murray there. It's the last tackle. They've got the numbers to the left. Just spread it through the hands. They should get a try. No, they'll put it on the toe. Not listening to the commentator at all. 
And Dice going back, so Owabic will pick it up. No, the referee disagrees. <laughs> the referee has disagreed with us again. He's keeping us guessing. We said that before, so here we go. Uni attack again. Well, another set of six for Uni. They can close the game out here with another try. Case with the ball. Been busy for the She Horses. Houghton at dummy half. Sheaves. Finds the number four. That's uh, Mead. And we've got a penalty. What was that for? Um, I think that they're going to call that they were blocking the play, but I don't, it was called a splitter, the move that they just did. So two players run in and then bounce out and have a middle player run through. So I think that's fair game. Should have been a try for sure. Yeah, you know, I am asking you what that was for, just to test you on the rules. Thank you for testing me on the rules, but I don't, I don't even really know the rules. You should hear me blowing up most of the time. <laughs> Fair enough, we're back on the way. Any referees out there that we've got it wrong, just uh, send us through a tweet or a message on Facebook. We love the men in the pink shirts. We love them. So we're back on the way. Uh, it's a uni there. Ball's gone on the ground. Simon's picked it up. She's got a bit of space. Can she get around? No, she can't get around War. That's a very good tag there. 25 out from their own line, so they've got a long way to go. That's a good run there. Last tackle there. They'll need a good kick here from Sharp if she gets it early. And she does. It's not a bad kick. It's a tough one down there. It's bounce. It's going to find touch. And, uh, well, Uni will uh, just get the restart. Uni will get the restart on the attack again. That was a good kick by Wobbicool. Um So now they line up their defensive line. And let's see how they go. Not many tries so far getting to be a close game. Yeah, very good opener for uh, Friday Night Football, brought to you by brought to you by the guys at Quizmasters Trivia. It's been getting a bit cold. I've got to call another game after this. I don't know if the uh, if I'll start shivering, if I'll be able to get through it. you lend you my beanie. My beanie that someone knitted for me. Someone knitted. Congratulations. <laughs> it's uh, mentioned products on air. <laughs> taken off. Looks like Hemsley out there. That's uh, Paris Langer, beg your pardon. Just short of halfway. Uh, referee's calling last. So you just got to go back and play that ball properly. He goes back to Case. Sheaves. Kicks it down. Simon's underneath it. Takes it cleanly. Good take. She's got space. Can she get through? She Good tag there. Is that Case again there? Number 12, no, Murray. Murray. Been busy this second half as uh, Jess Murray. So, a what we call. Got a try down the blind side late in the first half. Looking for a second try. It's been a great effort by the Awabakal United side. Their first game in the A-grade Ladies League Tag competition. This is Sharp. Kicks it down into the corner. Away from the fullback again. It's not a bad kick. Down to the 20. Shaw's there to clean it up. I beg your pardon. That's uh, Jenkins. Good tag by Simon. This is Case. Murray, again. It's getting hard to pick the numbers out here. I've got another game after this. How am I going? Sheaves. It's Ward. Ward almost through. So, could be something on here. Not the ball's been dropped by Paris Lang. And another let off for a Wobbicle. Another let off for a Wobbicle. Um... Uni are just not playing the footy that they were playing in the first half. Um, I don't know if they feel a, bit, a little bit rattled after having those sets on the line or whether the weather's getting to them and a bit of frustration. But, yeah, I think they need to get back to their game plan. They play good footy in the first half. So ease back into it rather than throw it around. But let's look at what a Wobbicle have got. Well, this is Sharp with the ball going across field. She's had a pretty good game, the number 10. Number 22 is on. We don't have her on our sheet. Another good run there. So in the centre of field, 25 out from the She Horses line. What can a Wobbicle do? Can they get another try? I mean, a close, tough game. No points in this second half. Simon taking on the 20 metre zone. Sharp again. Crossfield kick. It's dangerous. It's a lottery. It's gone to ground. They've picked it up. And then they've spilt it. 
So a lead off there for the she horses. She's got a good boot on her. Is it sharp? She's um, put in a few good kicks today, and she's very smart with the footy and how she's playing. So I think she'll be one to watch this year. I think in the dry, she might get a wobble call a few tries with a few of her quicks. Yep. Uh, kicking is underestimated in ladies' league tag. I was watching uh, Goulburn play ladies' league tag uh, in the Canberra Rugby League on Bar TV. They scored about five or six tries from kicks. I did watch that game like you suggested that I should and very easy kicks and very easy chases but they scored so yeah makes me excited maybe I need to give it a go. <laughs> they might have a couple of sprint champions in that Golden Workers team <laughs> so almost a chance there for Jess Murray she just got a late tag there as Jenkins just short of the 40 meter zone Houghton at dummy half. It's a kick down there by uh, Sheaves. Down the corner, it's been fielded there on that far side. Great tag by Ashward. She's always very reliable in defence and she always chases hard on the kick. So, great job out there. So, well, what we call another opportunity. The greasy balls made it hard to attack as Simon almost got through. She's looked dangerous every time she's run the ball. She has looked dangerous every time she's run the ball. Um, you wouldn't want to give her any space because she's lightning fast once she starts running. So the uni have been lucky so far, but I think she's going to carve up this year. Well, we give her what we call a wrap, and they've spilt the ball. We might jinx them. Maybe we're jinxing them. <laughs> Probably are. Houghton, dash from dummy half, almost through. Some great last-dish tags in this game. Here we go. Sheaves, it's gone behind her. Picked up, cleaned up. Oh, it's gone to ground there. Spain's dropped it. Now it's been picked up by the number 13, Moran. Oh, oh. was almost in rewind then. Didn't know what was happening. We've got a penalty there. So uh, Pitt made the tag, but what uh, was that for? Um, no, nah, they were offside. Offside by a mile. <laughs> offside by a mile. Yeah, you heard it here first. So they've made about five metres of that kick for touch. The 40 out, looking for their second try. 18 points to four. And uh, again, he was just, she was just five centimetres off the mark. <laughs> there you go, the ref likes it. We're back underway. That's your what we call. Good run. They've been very impressive in their first hit out here. Of course, they've had a couple of trials and, and games in the Challenge Cup, but... Uh, Awesome effort by the Wabaku United side coming up against University, who have been one of the top teams in the last couple of years. Yeah, definitely. To match up with these guys round one and um, play so well against them, I mean, you've got, you're playing against an experienced team, so Wabaku have done really, really well. I'm very impressed, 100%. Just short of halfway, the she horses. This rain has definitely stifled their attack. Very good tag again. The tagging has been really impressive. Tell you what, I miss tagging with the country rugby league tags. Um, since we've changed, we've gone to New South Wales rugby league, which is similar to Oz Tag. Um, here goes Nisa Case. Oh, Great break. Sorry. <laughs> Great Great tag by Simon once again. Um, the tag, country rugby league tags are a lot easier to tag, but um, they're very hard in the wet as well. So in the dry, they're quite easy, but in the wet, they're quite hard. So great tagging by Wobbicool. And there it is, down in the goal. It's not a bad kick, but it's been fielded in the corner. Just out, five metres out from the try line. Yeah, very hard to uh, pick up the tags behind the camera as well, that navy blue on black shorts. I don't know why they don't have pink and yellow, bright pink and yellow tags. I'm unsure. I don't think they've really thought about it. I mean, against our shorts um, being blue, here goes a Wobbacool. Great runaway. Great runaway. That's brilliant by a Wobbacool. Let's see if I can add blue. on to this. Who is that? Well, we've got 20, 25 is Lisa Manu, but it's definitely not Lisa Manu. I can guarantee you that. Sloan Harris takes that forward. See Lisa in front of me. She's in jersey 21. So the thrown us a dummy. Here we go again. It's another good run there by Jamie Moran. Been busy the last couple of minutes. Looking for runners. Sharp says, kick, give it to me and I'll kick it downfield. Not a bad kick again. It's very hard to uh, collect on the first or second bounce, but uh, the uni girls get it.
Have to uh, turn the air conditioner around to heat tonight, I think. I'm starting to shiver. It's pretty cold out here, hey. Oh, I'm hanging for the heater. Give me the air con. <laughs> Girls out in the field, uh, they're not fooling it at all. It's uh, very warm out in the centre. And the rain stopped. For now. For now. Sheaves, that's not a bad kick. Going down, Simon will have to turn around to pick it up. She does. Just 20 metres out from her own line. Good defence by the shoe horses. Oh, almost got away, but uh, good tag there by the number 15, Spain. Sharp, not a bad ball. Just got to get that out to the uh, the centre and the winger out there. They had uh, some clear, plenty of uh, open passes out there. Smith was looking for the run around and uh, the player ran back inside. Tagged on the 40 by uh, Halton. Centre field, Sloan Harris. Been busy as well for the Awabakal. Plenty of uh, players from Awabakal have had great games, haven't they? They have had really good games. Um, they're playing really well together as a team, that's for sure. They've obviously been training quite well together, so it's really good to see, and they're only going to get better as the season progresses. So, yeah, it's been really good to see them come into the comp. <laughs> that looked like a bit of a high shot there, but it's uh, good dash there out there on the field as by Shaw. It's been uh, tagged on the halfway line. Houghton goes to dummy half. Chance of offside there, definitely offside. Ten in the bin. It was pretty blatant. So ten in the bin, not sure what player that is, but uh, an early shower, you probably want to do that. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a league tag player get put ten in the bin. So this is the first time for everything. The refs kept us guessing all day, and now he's put, who did he put in the bin? We can't see a number. It's just coming off. It's, uh, is it Simon? It's Bonnie Simon. Oh, it's been one of the one better players. One of their best players he's put in the bin. So here we go. They're without their fullback, but I think they'll have someone covering who will do a great job. Well, big opportunity now for the She Horses to uh, run it out. And that is full time. University She Horses get over Awabakal United. 18 points to four here at Bernie Curran Oval. Uh, we'll take a quick break and we'll be back with the main game. This is Quizmasters Trivia Friday Night Football here at Newcastle Hunter Rugby League. Paul Arundel and Gabby Miller signing off.
G'day and welcome to Bernie Curran Oval here at University for the B Grey Clash here in Quiz Masters Trivia Friday Night Football here between the University Seahorses and the West Walls and Magpies. G'day, I'm Paul Arendelle with you tonight, flying solo. If you want to have a crack at co-commentary, come up and see me here. We're not in much of a commentary box. All we can uh, offer you is, uh, well, really not much. I'll go through the teams for you. University, at fullback, we've got Mears. On the wings, we've got Ether and Dugan. The centres are O'Brien and Mitchell. The halves are Doolan and Kersey. The forwards are Clark, Hayes, Sangster, Remington, Daniels, and the lock forward captain is Haywood. Their bench is Rowe, Wheeler, Fields, Mills, Major, Jones, Gabrieldes, and Young. The West Walls end team is Fisher, Millerju, Smith, Ayer, Owen, We've got Bigley Huddleston and Luke Casey. The front rowers are Jan Yonke and Melmoth. The hooker is Wormsley. The back rowers Payne, Butler and Melmoth. Their bench is Waller, Jackson, Arthur, Asioli and Ralston and McKinnon. And we again, just waiting for a kicking tee. That's uh, amazing how many times a game starts without a kicking tee. But, uh, we've got a good crowd. We've got uh, plenty of uh, Westie boys around these to the right. And we've got the uni fans to the left. So it's a good crowd here for Quizmaster Trivia's Friday night football here. And uh, we found a kicking tee. And uh, we're about to get underway. 40 minutes. Uni going from left to right on your screen. And in the uh, maroon and white. Westy in their traditional black and white. And we're underway. Quizmaster Trivia Friday Night Football here at Bernie Curran Oval. And it's an amazing start for the Seahorses. That kick has found touch. And they'll get the ball. So a super start here for the Seahorses. Now I'm going to call them She-Horses. Apologies for that. I've just done the uh, the game previously. The She-Horses won 18 points to 4 over Awabakal United. The Seahorses, Seahorses with a great opportunity to post points here early. So underway, this is Doolan out the back. It's a very good pass to Mitchell. Tries to get away from the defence, and he's eventually wrapped up. 25 out from the try line. Three men in the tackle. So a bit short in the short side, but they go centre field here with Clark. 10 metre zone, two tackles gone. Out the back, that's Doolan with the ball. Sorry, Kersey with the ball. Fires it out to uh, the fullback, Mears. Linking up with the winger in the corner, it's Ether. Do we have the first try? No, referee says we'll go back to the 20 metre zone. So West Wall's in, dodge a bullet there early. Superstar for University, but not coming up with any points. So uh, we'll get back underway. First hit up, taking it to the 30 metre zone. So, Wormsley from dummy half. Links up there. Looks like Melmoth taking that hit up. So, this is Yonke. Veteran there for the uh, West Walls inside. Taking up the halfway. So, a good comeback here for Westy. Deep in the territory now. That's Melmoth there taking that just short of the 40. Slow play the ball. Hope he's all right. We don't want an injury early. Chipping that down in the corner is Casey. It looks like he's going to find touch. It's toe to head. And eventually it goes out about five minutes out from the Seahorses line. Good crowd in attendance. They're all underneath us here trying to get some shelter. I said that rain come down pretty heavy early. And uh, so... Seahorses will bring this out of their own territory. So the referee just uh, making sure the scrum packs. They're all in there right. The ref's not happy with something. He calls them up. Says, guys, just take a minute. Reset. And we're back underway. So it looks like Duggan there taking a hit up from the wing. He's at dummy half. Finds Remington. Hayes again at dummy half. Good run there by Mitchell. On the 30-meter zone. 
So, slow play the ball there. They go on centre field there. Kersey. Good tackle low. That was Wormsley underneath there. So, Yankee was over the top. You can pick him easy. Good kick the way there by Kersey. Down in the corner. It's going to be fielded there by Fisher at fullback. Taking that to about 25 out away from his own line. About five in from touch on that far side. So lock forward there, Butler. Good run there. Wormsley at dummy half. That's uh, Kale Smith there coming in from the wing. There'll be plenty of that tonight. It's pretty chilly. Yankee. It's his second hit up of the match. And Wormsley at dummy half again. This is the uh, Brent Melmoth. Our last tackle here for the Magpies. Wormsley goes to short side from dummy half. Chips that down. It's a very good take by the winger there, Ether. He runs up and he's just wrapped up on the 20 metre zone. Here's the fullback now, Mears. Another slow play, the ball, so Westy are holding the players down. Mitchell, that's a very good run back in centre field, but he's uh, met there by the number 12, Butler. Uh, that's uh, Clark taking it forward. So Haywood almost spilt the ball there, was Haywood the captain. He's brought it in and hangs on to it. So the other short side now. Oh, good shot there. It's okay. And Fish is here to take it. Dillon's up on his feet, so that's good to see. Oh, the ball has come out there, and referee's going to rule the penalty. Apologies if the audio sounds a bit shaky. It's because my hand is shivering. You hear the teeth chatter, you know I'm in trouble. Early days here on Quizmasters Trivia Friday Night Football. Can't wait for winter. So uh, Begley Huddleston finds touch. Ball boy just fetches that. And uh, we'll get play underway again through air. Here's Junkie again over halfway. Good solid run. So Wormsley at dummy half. Out the back it goes to Butler. Butler steps back inside. Got away from a couple of defenders, but eventually is wrapped up just short of the 30-metre zone. So they go to the short side there. Good ball there. Short pass from Casey. But uh, the Seahorses were there in numbers to wrap him up. So they go through the hands again. Inside pass. They'll decide to go with Melmoth. Taking four seahorses to get him down. Plenty of effort. So this is Butler. Running straight and hard now about eight metres out from the try line. So you got numbers both sides. Last tackle. They go to the left side. Puts it on the toe in the corner. It's almost going to feel. It's going to go dead. Ooh, gee. Mildew come very close to diving on that ball, but it's, uh, it's gone dead. But the referee has ruled it's uh, going to be a line dropout. So, fair to say, safe to say, that this will be the first line dropout of B-grade footy this year. There is another B-grade game going on just down the road at Passmore Oval. North Newcastle against Kersley. Back on the way, it's a fair strike. Good take there by Melmoth. Charges hard in the line. Oh, that's a beautiful hit. Brilliant hit. By Clark. Welcome to Bernie Curran. Melmus just uh, walking away there. It, uh, that's uh, hurt the big forward. Hopefully he's okay. Play continues. Short pass inside a Yankee. 12 metres out from the line. They go to the left side. Begley Huddleston out the back to Fisher. Links up there with... Smith, Smith gets away from one, but Doolan's eventually there to wrap him up. Wormsley at dummy half, goes the short side, links up with a big second row. He's very close, that's Payne. He's got it down. I think we've got the first try. Quizmasters Friday night football. It is a try to the number 11, Thomas Payne. And Westwall's in lead 4-0 with a kick to come. And uh, 
A couple of players having a bit of a chat in the end goal there. So uh, West Wall's in four. University of a kick to come. And would you believe it, that wind has died down. So uh, hopefully that wind will stay away in the rain. So, again, we're waiting for a kicking tee. So, uh, again, anyone, if anyone at home's got a kicking tee, bring it to Bernie Curran Oval. West Wall's End uh, forgot to bring one. So they're going to borrow the university boys' t uh, kicking tee. So it'll be Jesse Eyre with the... Uh, so it'll take the conversion. Yep. Five metres in from touch. There's no wind at the moment, so uh, he's got nothing to uh, contend with. He's just got to put it through the uprights. Pretty simple task, really. Seahorses supporters give him a bit of stick as he lines it up. Tell you what, it's a brilliant strike right between the sticks and a 6 0 to West Walls End over University here on Friday Night Football. Brought to you by Quizmasters Trivia around at the local pubs and clubs in Newcastle and the Hunter. If you like your trivia, find a pub. Or if you're a local that uh, wants to get involved, well, go to quizmasterstrivia.com.au. So Tyler Doolan will get us underway. Well, back underway, I should say. The southern end to the uh, the tower end here at uh, University Oval. It's not a bad take there on that far side there by air. So he can not only kick them, he can catch them as well. So he has Yankee again. Good hard run. Wormsley at dummy half. It's a big uh, second rower there. I think it's uh, number 15 that's come on to replace Melmoth. Ryan Jackson. And it looked like a bit of a knee there. You better cut that out. You don't want that in the game. As Butler takes that forward over halfway now. So uh, West Wall's in. They're making plenty of good metres here. Casey. High kick. Swirling. Tough kick to uh, for a fullback to take. He's just going to watch this go dead. Casey come through. But uh, Mears, he knows this ground well. Just lets it go dead. And there will be a 20-metre restart for the Seahorses. Hayes at dummy half. This is Clark. Busy early. Plenty of contact. Put a good hit on earlier. So they go to the short side again. Haywood. Good tackle around the legs again there by the number 11, Payne. Helped over the top by Begley Huddleston. So that's the Seahorses inside the West Walls in territory now. Now the short side again. Doolan, he was shaping the kick, runs it, goes with the hands. It's gone to ground. I think it's play on because he didn't touch that, the uh, Zach Duggan. But uh, the referee says, no, nah, we'll have a knock on. So good thinking there by Seahorses to go down the short side. There was something on. Just the pass had to stick. So the players will uh, just take a bit of a breather here. It's pretty common in uh, Newcastle and Hunter football. Take a breather when you can. We're back underway now. So on the 40-metre zone, West Wall's end leads six points to nil. Early here in Friday night football, here's Jackson again taking it over halfway. So they're making very good metres here, West Wall's end. Yankee. Good tackle around the legs there. I think it was Haywood. So the other short side, Casey looked to pass. Fisher was lurking inside. But eventually, Casey just takes the ball. 35 out from the Seahorses line. Looking for their second try of the night. They go through the hands again. Aya just taking it for a settler. 
So Wormsley throws it to Begley. Huddleston puts it on the toe down to the winger. Oh, it's hit his knee. Unlucky bounce. And oh, well, Melmoth there almost caught a spectacular catch. He's put it down, and the referee's going to call a scrum. So he's reeled seahorses feed here by the looks of it. I thought that uh, may have touched the hand, but he's reeled it's hit uh, Dugan's leg. So uh, Dillon will feed it. And the referee doesn't like the way that went in. So uh, we'll get it fed again. Well. Third time lucky. Starting to think the referees must have a quota on how many times they can blow the whistle at a scrum. So, Doolan, his third attempt. And the referee likes it. We're back underway. So the Seahorses, what can they do? Bring it out of their own try line. Get a good kick away. That's what the coach will want. Actually, you'll want four points. So it looks like Ether coming in on off, off his wing. Part of there, it's getting very cold. Trying to get the words out. It's getting harder. That's Mitchell. Good run. But uh, he's just been just monstered there by Wormsley and uh, Casey as well. Jackson, I beg your pardon. Doolan puts that on the toe. It goes downfield. Fish is there waiting for it comfortably. Takes it over the 20. Tries to get away from the tackle, but he's wrapped up well by... Dugan and Mitchell there. Scamper from dummy half as Milljew, the referee, says that was a bit high. And uh, I think Westy will get their second penalty of the match. Isaac Milljew, had a quick chat with him in the car park before. He's keen for tonight's game. So oh, that's a wobbly kick for touch. It doesn't find it. Mears will take it. So a lead off here for University. Mears takes it back and the defence is there. Milliger is there to make the tackle. And trying to get off him. Slow play the ball. Hayes wrapped up at dummy half by the market. Payne. Haywood goes into dummy half this time. Mears again, the fullback, takes his second hit up. So, numbers to the left now. They'll go through the hands. It's Kersey out the back. Almost a one-on-one -on -one strip there from uh, the halfback, Casey. But uh, big second row hung onto the ball. So, the other short side. Oh, almost over the head of Kersey. He did well to catch it in the end. And it's wrapped up just over the 40-metre zone. So, the Seahorse is here. What can they do? Goes back to Doolan. He'll put this one high up in the air down to the opposite wing there, which is uh, Owen. Good take in the end. And the referee has awarded a penalty, not inside the 10 from the kick. So West Wall's in. will get a piggyback out of their own zone. I've just had a look up to the uh, the right side of this the skyscraper here. This looks like there's a couple that have got a lounge chair set up on their deck watching Friday night football, the soccer. Maybe they're watching Bar TV, but they've got the best of both worlds. What a spot. So we'll get underway here again with a restart. There, we'll tap it. We'll go through to Casey and Yonke. We'll just take it forward. Haywood there in the tackle, helped out by Hayes. Jackson again. Good hard run. So here you go. This is Melmoth. Daniel Melmoth. Up to the 40 metre zone. And Begley Huddleston will just chip this down to the corner away from the fullback. Is it going to pull up? No, it's going to be too dead. Too deep. So it goes dead. And it'll come back to the 20 metre zone for a restart. This is Quizmasters Trivia. Friday night football here the Newcastle and Hunter Rugby League competition. I hope you're enjoying the coverage wherever you are around the world. Probably comfortable in your lounge room. This is Clark now taking it forward. 
So that's good defence here by West Walls End so far. They're not giving the Seahorses an inch. Good hit there. Helped out there. Jackson, he's come off, off the bench. He's done some good stuff. Now he's forced an error. And West Walls End will have a great opportunity. 45 out from the Seahorses line. West Walls End uh, supporters are just getting warmed up. It's good to see the uh, the Westy crew coming out and supporting their team. That's one good thing about local footy. The community gets behind the team. He spilt the ball from dummy half. Tom Payne, but uh, the referee will say we'll just pack another scrum. This time it'll be a Seahorses feed. Tyler Doolan feeds it correctly this time. He goes out the back to Kersey. Mears chiming in from the back line. And Ether will take the tackle on that far side. So Ether slow to his feet to play the ball. Kersey again. One off there. Now to the uh, number 10, Sangster. Running from dummy half. Clark, another hit up. Another good shot over the top. I think that was Butler in there that time. And now Clark's going to be slow to his feet. He's the big number 11, Remington. Another good tackle there from Butler. It's 14 on the field. Is row for uh, University. It's a good ball as uh, Daniels almost gets through a half gap. He's wrapped up in the end. Row in the headgear at num dummy half. Not number 14. Kersey puts it on the toe into the corner. And Fish is back there to clean it up. And we will we'll have... A goal line dropout, 6-0 Westy over Seahorses here. Friday night football here, brought to you by Bar TV Sports. Tomorrow another massive day for Bar TV, all up and down the East Coast. And Westy there, will just take their time with the restart. Bobby Jones is uh, on the sideline for, for University. Looks like he's warming up, ready to come on. Back underway. It's a high restart. Taken there by Kersey. And uh, Sangster will take this forward. Now 25 out now from West Walls End's line. So they go to the left side. Looks like Haywood there with the ball wrapped up. Row goes from dummy half. This is Sangster again. Getting pretty busy now. The big front row. Great opportunity here for University. So that's uh, Doolan with the ball. Short pass there to Jones. Just come on the field. Row it dummy half. Doolan. No, oh, bigger part. That's Clark. He's almost over. I think he has got over. Uni's got their first try of the night. The referee likes it. Points to the spot. And uh, the big front rower, Jared Clark, scores the opening try for the Seahorses. 6-4 with a kick to come here on Quizmasters Trivia Friday Night Football. One disappointing thing about Bernie Curran Oval, I will say, is there's no car horns. You can't get close enough to the ground to park a car on the side of the road and toot the horn when there's a try scored. Doolan will uh, line this kick right up in front. So he should have, shouldn't have a problem with this. Although I have seen him miss before, Kieran Foran. So this should lock it up at six all. Bit of a hush over the ground now. I feel like I'm the only one talking. Uh, strikes it nicely, straight between the sticks, and it's six all here on Friday Night Football, brought to you by Quizmasters Trivia. This is the Newcastle and Hunter Rugby League competitions, B grade. Hope you're enjoying the coverage. Big shout out to uh, Robert Thompson, one of the committee members. <laughs> Just got an update on the score of the Knights, up 18-12, you beauty. Tommy, you're making me look very cold at the moment in that shortened T-shirt. <laughs> 
So O'Brien will uh, get this restart underway. Just taking their time here, Westy. As I said, a bit of a hush over the ground here. Just gone very quiet. So O'Brien will get us back on the way. It's a high kick. And well taken there by Kersey. It's a good hit up there. So the substitutes coming on from both sides now. Unlimited interchange in Newcastle and Hunter Rugby League. That's Mears with the ball. Try, trying to get a quick play the ball. Doesn't happen. Here's Clark, the try scorer. Good hard run. So the Westy defence, even though they're in a try, they've been very good. It's a good run from Rowe. Oh, that pass could have gone forward. It's a line ball, so we'll let the ref off with that one. Pretty hard. Pretty hard to get every decision right. There we go again with Haywood. Good shot over the top there from Ryan Jackson. Goes back to Doolan. And it'll go straight down the throat of Fisher. Does very well. Looked like he was going to link up with the winger, but uh, eventually just took the tackle. Millerju goes for a dash from dummy half. Apologise to Isaac if I got his surname wrong. And he goes, it looks like O'Brien with a scamper from dummy half. I beg your pardon, Smith. Air. Yeah. Third time lucky I'll get it right. Apologies to Jesse Air yeah, there. Here's Jackson. Good hard run. Been very impressive since he's come on the field. Walmsley will go from dummy half. That's the three, Kale Smith. Walmsley goes through a scamper from dummy half. Good meters there, West, Westy. Oh, we've got a knock on here. Nope. It's the end of the set, so uh, I didn't see the hand go up from the ref, and uh, either did Carl Wormsley. So it'll be a handover, and the university will get the ball again. 30 out from their own line. Here's Mears. So Melmoth's back out in the field for West Wall's end. Took that hard hit earlier. Good to see him back out there on the field. Here's Bobby Jones taking him forward up the 10-metre zone. Buckled back in that tackle, but uh, he's all right. Out the back to Kersey. There's a big 25 out in the field. Don't have his number. So the other short side again. Kersey just stabbing that down in the corner, but Fish is there to clean it up. And he'll take that onto the 20 metre zone. So it looks like uh, Owen out there on that far side. Driven back, there's three blokes in that tackle. So Chink goes up for the Seahorses. Looks like Payne out there. Taking that forward. So, oh, he's put it down. So that's uh, Melmoth there. Daniel Melmoth dropping the, the lollies. So a golden opportunity here for the Seahorses. Six all here on Friday Night Football. Hope you're enjoying the coverage. Good evening to Robert Thompson. Good evening, Paul. How are you going? What a great night to start the season. Nice uh, nice weather. Pouring down rain one minute. Beautiful the next. Yeah, you think we're in Queensland. Beautiful weather for it. Friday night football. Footy's back. And that's flogging down. Not at the moment. The uh, heavens have been kind to us. That Mears with the ball. Earlier on, the uh, She Horses got up. 18 points to four over Awabical. Very entertaining game. So too was this one earlier on. Doolan at dummy half. Haywood out the back to Clark, the try scorer. And he's wrapped up in the 20 metre line. Ralston making that tackle. I'm pretty sure he played with Uni last year at the field. It's a good run there by uh, the number 15 for Uni. So here they go again here. Five metres out from the West Walls end line. It's the last tackle. What have the Seahorses got? Kersey did well to take it. Doolan kicks it behind the line. It's not a bad kick. Jones is going for it. Bobby Jones has got the try. The Seahorse is second. The referee likes it. He points to the spot. Uni second try. Ten points to six with a kick to come. Tomo, what did you think of that one? Oh, outstanding. Great kick behind, uh, in behind the Westie defence. And uh, well scored there out in the corner. 
Well, it's Friday night football here from Bernie Curran Oval. The uni students, they get their second try. Or as Michael Edmonds likes to call them, the bookworms. Big shout out to Edo. So, uh, difficult kick this one. Here is a bit of a breeze. So, uh, Doolan will uh, have to contend with that one. It's a good fight back here by uh, University. It was all West Walls in early. And uh, the Seahorses just, uh, maybe their fitness is coming to the top here. Late in the second half. So as I said, about 15 metres in from touch. So breeze starts to pick up. So it's good to have the football back, isn't it? Oh, fantastic. It's, uh, it's been a long time coming and uh, it's just great that they're out back out on the field and it's going to be good over the weekend to see some of more of the other games. Just one question. How are you not cold? Um, from years of working in a cool room and just getting used to the temperature. <laughs> Dylan will take this kick. It's not a bad kill. It's just shaved the left upright. Not a bad attempt. I thought the wind was going to blow it back in, but uh, not the case. It's 10 points to six. The Seahorses take the lead here on uh, Quizmasters Trivia Friday Night Football. This is B-grade Newcastle and Hunter Rugby League. We'll bring you a Friday night fixture every year, or we hope to. It was looking a bit shaky early with this uh, weather. We didn't think we were going to get on, but uh, the players have gone out there and uh, they're doing a great job. So Smith gets us underway. Another high kick. Good take there by Kersey. Looks like the number 15 out there, Wheeler. There's bound to be a few uh, name changes in this um, in this team, so uh, hopefully uh, I'm doing we're getting them all right. This is Clark. Picked up the Seahorses' first try early. Throw it dummy half. Kersey again. That's Gabrielli's out there. Got the late call up. Wasn't going to play today, but uh, decided to put the kid on. He's had a run out there. Another good run there by Clark this time. This is Haywood, taking it just over halfway now. Three men in the West Walls end tackle there. So go back to Doolan. Shonky little kick there, goes down. Fish is there to clean it up, and he'll run back to the line. There's only a couple of seahorses there. Almost gets cleaned up by Melmoth running back onside. I'll put that down as a tackle assist by Melmoth. Now he's going to take a hit up. Nope, decoy runner. That's Owen there taking the ball up. Wiggins coming in off their uh, flanks to help out. This is Ralston. I beg your pardon, that's uh, Azioli. So they switched the jerseys on me. Thanks for doing that. That's Butler. Just inside the students half now. As it goes through the hands, Melmoth. Solid contact from Jones there. And Melmoth will uh, get up and play this ball. Casey puts that high up in the corner. It's a tester here for the winger. And he does very well. Ether out there on the far wing. Gabrielli's will go into dummy half. This is Mears at fullback coming in for a run. And we've got a penalty. So this will help the Seahorses cause even more. How have you seen the game so far, Tomo? It's been pretty even so far. Oh, very much so. The, uh, the, uni, the uni front rower is uh, playing outstanding. Every time he takes the ball up, he's making huge ground up the middle and his tackling is very punishing. Well, Seahorses now just uh, short of halfway with a full set. This is Gabrieldi's again. Over the 40 metres only. Credit to the, uh, the ground staff here at university. The, the ground's in great condition. Has we got a mistake? Maybe that was a greenkeeper out there that's uh, made the mistake. He's me give him a rap. Nick Mills there has spilt the ball. So 
So uh, Friday night football, it's it's back. First time Newcastle Hunter Rugby League's had a Friday night football game covered, as far, to my knowledge anyway. This is uh, O'Brien with the ball. Smith, I'll be your partner with the ball. We've got to play it down in the background. He's up. They've lost the ball. Doolan's got it. Almost gets away from the tackle of Millerjill, but he's there to wrap him up. Now we've got a penalty. And the uni boys don't like it. They come in to have a chat, the Miller Jewel and uh, Begley Huddleston say, hey, didn't like that. As Walmsley's coming in to have a chat to the referee. Never seen a ref change his mind yet. So Duel will find touch. So great opportunity again here for University. 21 out from the West Walls end line, full set of six. Mitchell takes it forward. He's met by about five Westy defenders. Row it dummy half. This is Mills. Rolled over on his back there. Another slow play. The ball. Doolan. Kersey. Cut out pass. It almost intercepted. It went to ground by Casey. And we got six to go. Nope. Westy have picked it up. Bit of a clash of colours on that far side of the ground there. So it'll be a scrum, and it will be a Westy fee by the looks of it. That was a bit of surprising. So referee again will call it back. Wasn't happy with something. So we're back underway, air, take it forward. Oh, well, no dummy half, and Mitchell was there to dive on it. So, here we go again. Kersey running to the line. Steps back inside. He's wrapped up there by Payne. Ten metres out from Westy's line. Slow play the ball. Rowe waits for it. Calls for it. Haywood gets the ball. Runs back inside. He's about eight metres out from the Westy line now. Numbers both sides. They go to the right side. Doolan, good pickup. It was close to the ground. And he's five metres out from the line now. So the dummy half row will go himself. He's rolled on his back. And the referee's going to say held up. And we'll go back out to the 10-metre line. So just getting themselves untangled there. We're back underway. Haywood at dummy half. Curse. He had to jump high to take that ball. This is Sangster. Runs back into the middle. Last tackle now. Left side of the go. Kersey puts a little kick behind the play. It's not a bad kick. But uh, Owen is there to uh, just kick it over the sideline. And we'll have a uh, line drop out. So plenty of pressure here from the Seahorses. Oh, very much so. It's uh, They just keep landing on and landing on. Uh, very, very fit. Very, very uh, hardened team. It's going to be very hard for Westy from here if they don't uh, get into the contest. Yeah, well, they're taking their time with these restarts, that's for sure. Begley Huddleston just making sure all these teammates are behind the line. We get underway. It's not a bad kick. Good take there from Gabrioli's. Runs at the defence. So, 25 out from the Westy line now. University, you're in front, 10-6. And in close to half time, this is O'Brien. Good run, almost through. Great pass to Rowe. Rowe's going to be over. Uni have their third try of the night. And that is the uh, replacement dummy half on the field. Johnny Rowe scores University's third try of the night. What did you think of that one? Oh, great backing up by Rowe. Great break made and just off his hip, straight to him, through the gap. Beat one defender, scores. Super effort. So University extend their lead. Just what the doctor ordered before half time. if you're a University supporter. There's plenty of them around the country. Hope you're enjoying the coverage wherever you are. It's great that the, uh, the rain has eased off. You get back out and actually see a bit of the play. It was very hard here early. It's, uh, it's what we do here at Bar TV. We battle the elements. Any conditions. 
Noosa Sevens. Check out the tape of that. So Doolan. Line up his uh, third attempt. One from two. You see a pretty good crowd in here at Bernie Curran Oval for this uh, first Friday night fixture. Good to see the crowd come out and support local footy. Especially the West Walls in people making the trek. So Doolan strikes it nicely. And it's 16 points to six. University Seahorses over the West Walls End Magpies here on Friday Night Football. Brought to you by Quizmasters Trivia. If you're a local pub or club that uh, wants to host trivia, well, you know, to get in contact with Quizmaster Trivia. They do the greatest job. Doing a great job supporting local rugby league as well. So Smith will uh, get us underway again. It's getting close to half time. So just milking every second here, but we're going to get back underway. They kick down far corner there. It's dark in that corner, and the winger has knocked it on. It's gone backwards, Duggan. Mills was there to clean it up, luckily there. As I said, it was a bit dark in that corner. So uh, forgive the uh, winger for dropping that one. Just lucky it went back. So the Seahorses will work this out from their own line now. Good solid contact there by uh, Yankee. And he's going to be slow to play the ball is Sangster. It was a good hit. Referees called time up. But uh, that's all the time we got for the half. It's half time with University leading 16 points to 6 here on Quizmaster Trivia's Friday Night Football. This is the Newcastle and Hunter Rugby League B grade fixture. We'll take a break and we'll be back with the second half.
Yellow and blue shirts. So uh, just getting uh, some attention there. Azioli. It's the player down, Azioli, in the jersey 18. I did have 17 in my program, but uh, he uh, brushes the trainers aside and says we'll get back onto it. So we're back underway. Oh, heavy contact there again. I think it was Mills. Just smothered there by Yonke. Rowe goes the short side. A good quick tackle there. Huddleston underneath. So the Seahorses will bring this out with Haywood up to the 20-metre zone. Enthusiastic defence early from West Walls and in the second half. They go through the hands. This is Clark. Good tackle around the legs there from Jackson. Bigger part and that was uh, Payne. Kick goes downfield. It's going to find touch. No. Nope. Millerjew's there to clean it up. He'll try and bring this back to the halfway zone, but the uh, Seahorses defence is there in numbers. And pushing back to 42 metres out. Fisher at dummy half. Melmoth. Daniel Melmoth. Wormsley goes into dummy half. And this is his brother, Brent Melmoth. So they go to the short side again. Begley Huddleston gives it out there to the lock forward. Who's spilt the ball and it's gone over the sideline. So Westy again just uh, spilling the lollies at the uh, wrong time. So I think the temperature's gone up two degrees since that rain stopped. This is Friday Night Footy, Quizmasters Trivia, bringing you all the action of Newcastle and Hunter Rugby League. Great to have them on board. Here's Mills taking it forward. Can the Seahorses get their fourth try of the night? So Westy creeping up inside the 10-metre uh, zone there, breaking a bit early, trying to pinch a couple of metres in the defensive line. Is Clark again. Heavy contact again. Clark bounced out of one tackle. He's eventually wrapped up. 38 out from the Westy line. Doolan. They're going through the hands. This is Mitchell. Wrapped up now inside the 30. So the line is deep here for the university side. Will they go through the hands? No, they'll just take it forward through Remington. Pops out the pass, out the back. It's, oh, I thought it was going to be picked up by Jackson, but uh, Uni... There through Clark. So Rowe goes the short side through Doolan. Throws it out the back to the winger there on the far side. He's got one to beat. Runs straight at the winger. Goes over the top of him. And that's a try to Duggan or Duggan in the corner. The referee's going to have a quick chat to the touchy before he rules it. And Uni get their fourth try of the night through Zach Duggan. Having that far corner. 22 points to six with the kick to come. So my co-commentator's left me. He's been summoned away. So it's back to me on my own. So no special comments, but uh, good thinking by Rowe. Just a dart down the short side. Picked out Doolan. Linked up. Found Duggan. He just ran over his uh, counterpart and uh, scored a good try. So the fourth try for University. 22-6 with the kick to come. It's a hard one for Doolan. Right on the chalk on that far side. Good crowd in again, as I've said. The Westy supporters have made the road, made the trip down the Link Road to come and support their team. Always good support out there at West Walls End. That's one good thing about Newcastle Hunter Rugby League. They get behind their team, the community. A couple of other Friday night games happening at the moment. Shortland against Katara in May grade over at Tuxed Park. And also just down the road at Passmore Oval, you've got North Newcastle against Kersley. So at Doolan, he'll have the breeze behind him here. So he'll have no problem with distance. Taking his time with the kick. 
Not a bad strike. It's gone across the uprights, and the score remains 22 points to 6. Here on Quizmasters Friday Night Football, the Newcastle and Hunter Rugby League B grade competition. We hope to bring you a uh, Newcastle and Hunter Rugby League game every week. Doesn't matter what grade, we'll bring it to you Friday night or maybe even a Sunday afternoon. It's great to have Quizmasters on board. Without them, we wouldn't be able to broadcast this game tonight. As I say, they do a good job at the local pubs and clubs around the area. That's a short kick off. It's not a bad kick. Oh, Doolan did well to gather that. It went over him. <laughs> then he somehow regathered and then got smashed for his troubles. Here's Clark. Only knows one way. Bad pass from dummy half. Did well by Kersey to take that. And that was Sangster. Another slow play the ball. Good kick from dummy half from Rowe, but Fisher's back there to take it. He'll take this up to the 40-meter line. Rowe's there, the first man to make the tackle. Good stuff from the university side. Miller Jewel will go from dummy half, have a bit of a scamper. Haywood was in there to help out Rowe. Remington also in that tackle. So Casey does the dummy, not fell for. Oh, heavy contact there. Bodies going everywhere. Jackson slow to get up to his feet. And we go again through Melmoth. Good tackle around the legs from Kersey. Blake H Bexley Huddleston brings that inside to uh, the other Melmoth. I think it's uh, Brent Melmoth. That's my notes. Just blow away in the wind, just as I was using it as a guide. Bexley Huddleston puts it high. I think it's going to go backwards. Slip bounce. Comes straight back to where Huddleston kicked it. It's been picked up by Melmoth. Tries to get away from the tackle. He does, but eventually the Seahorses are there in defence and will have a turnover. Wouldn't be second division footy without a kick going backwards. So we're back underway. Mears goes for a run. So Rowe, he's been pretty busy. He had a dummy half for Seahorses. Wormsley come in a bit late there, but uh, the referee said it's okay. Here's Clark again. Looks like the Mears almost got away from the tackle. So right on halfway. Another slow play the ball. Westy, you're doing well to uh, put the uh, Seahorses on their back. Kiersey tried to get away from the tackle. Did get away from the tackle from Jackson, but eventually he's there wrapped up by about three other Westy defenders. Rowe, good pass to Clark. Good tackle around the legs from Wormsley. Read it well. Last tackle here for the Seahorses. They go to the short side. Kiersey running to the line. Little chip kick over the top. The backs are there. Fisher's there to clean it up. He's just inside the field of play. So, it looks like O'Brien going for a scamper from dummy half. And Smith, the bigger part, and almost gets away. Well, he does get away from a couple of defenders. He's still going across field, looking to link up. He just wrapped that ball underneath his arm and eventually wrapped up. So good metres there from Jesse Eyre. 38 from their own line. So they've got a lot of work to do, Westy, if they're going to get out of this one. Melmoth taking it forward. Good hard run. Three in the defenders there of University. Walmsley at dummy half. Finds Casey. Short pass to Yonke. Good tackle around the legs from... O'Brien. Short side again with Casey. Puts it on the toe. Down on the corner. And the winger will just watch that go dead. Jersey 21. We don't have his uh, number on the program. Maybe it's Brett Young. He'll take a restart. Get us back underway. Takes us up to just short of the 30 metre zone. Dancing around there, it looks like Haywood. Slow play the ball again. As I said, Westy, you're keeping the uh, Seahorses on the ground for a, for a long time. Remington taking it forward, wrapped up. <coughs> and he's just lost the ball. So another opportunity for Westy. Remington just spilling the ball here. 22-6, so they're not out of it. 
Another try. Momentum's a funny thing in rugby league. So, good opportunity again here for Westy. So, we get back underway. Melmoth tries to push away from the Seahorse defence, but uh, eventually wrapped up. 45 out from their line. Owen will go from a scamper for dummy half. And now he's driven back pretty much to the same spot where Melmoth was tackled a minute ago. Jesse Ayer waits at dummy half. Was going to go for a run, but he just gets it the big forward. Yonke, hard contact over the top from Remington. Down on the 40-metre zone. Begley Huddleston inside pass to Jackson. And the ball's come free there. And it's just popped out. So we'll have a scrum fee for the Seahorses. Oh, wow. Uh, classic commentary there from uh, one of the Westie supporters, just giving it to a Westie supporter, player, I should say. So the university bench is warming up again. Gabrieldi's and Jones are on the sideline. Look like they're coming back on for a run. So uni, back underway. That's Mears taking it forward. So Rowe goes the short side through Clark. Clark has been strong. Big front row. The big heat on early in the first half. Still out there. Kersey inside pass to uh, Mills. Good hit over the top. Short side through Doolan. Inside pass to Jones. Just come on the field. Scored a try in the first half. So Hayes also back out in the field, the number nine. Almost throws a hospital pass to the halfback, Kersey. Wrapped up by Payne and Butler. So Doolan puts this high in the sky, down the f to the wing. Miller Jewel, he's got a lot of work to do. He spilled it. It's gone backwards. Fisher was there to clean it up. Luckily for West Wall's end. Five out from the line now. Can the Seahorses keep them down here? The numbers run up four in that tackle. Scamper from dummy half. Good metres there from Westy. They needed that. A couple more good runs like that to get them out of trouble. It's Melmoth, the front row. Brent Melmoth. Good metres. He's had a strong game. Copped a big hit early. Wormsley from dummy half now. Over the 40 metre zone. Well, slow play of the ball. Begley Huddleston, good kick from dummy half. I don't think it's going to find touch. Just pulls up right on the try line. Mears will pick it up. Gets away from two defenders. Tries to get away from Melmoth. But he's wrapped up there and also helped out there by Mildew. So, Remington. Kersey gives this to Clark, standing wide. Twenty-five out from their own line. Oh, short pass down around the ankles. Did well to pick it up. Can't see who that player is. Number seventeen, Mills. So it goes back to Kersey. Steps back inside, puts it on the toe. It's not a bad kick. Finds the ground, but Fisher's there to clean it up. And he offloads this to Waller, who tries to run around the winger. Got, did get around him, but uh, eventually he's wrapped up. Maybe slipped over on the uh, on the grass here. He's cut short. Casey went for a scamp from dummy half, but he didn't get very far at all. Here's from dummy half. Is that to Melmoth? So here we go again. Yonke taking a hit up. His customary hit up a game. Well, per, per set of six, I should say, not per game. So they go to the left side through Bigley Huddleston. Out the back to Smith. Tries to get around, but Doolan's got him around the legs. Last tackle for Westy. Good run. Meters from dummy half from Huddleston. He looks dangerous. Gives it to Miller Jew. He kicks it inside. It's not a bad kick because Casey's coming through. But uh, the referee says he's gone into touch. Touchy has his flag up. 
and we'll have another scrum. So I hope you're enjoying the coverage of B-grade Newcastle 100 Rugby League. We had to bring you a Friday night footy game every week on Bar TV Sports. Thanks to Quizmaster Trivia. It's good to have them on board. Good hard run there. It's Clark. He's been busy. Probably been one of the best on field for the Seahorses. Hayes, good run from dummy half. Gets over halfway. Beat a couple of tackles. There's a player down on the background for Westy. So they're down to 12 men at the moment. Jackson's up to his feet now. He'll run through the line. Here's Jones. Good tackle around from, uh, from Yonke there. Kersey got the ball late, and he's been hammered there by Payne. So wrestling to the ground. It's good first contact from Payne. Then it took him a while to get on the ground. Hayne. Hayne's looking Dangerous from dummy half since he's come back out in the field. Mills now dummy half. Doolan gets it. It's a uh, weird old kick, but I tell you, it's gone too far and we'll come back out of the 20 metre zone. So the clock is ticking down here for Westy. They need something, they need to spark something. Back underway here through air. Jesse Air with the ball. Casey inside past the Yankee. Three university players in there to make that tackle. Oh, bumped off there. Good shot. Eventually four seahorses in there to make the tackle. Kersey tried to go high and just bounced off him. This is Casey again. Good pass to Payne. Looking for a pass, but can't get it away. Casey again. Puts it on the toe. He splits the winger and the fullback. It's a good kick. The winger's coming down. But uh, Ether's there to clean it up. It's Mitchell Owen, in fact. Tackle there from Millerjew. Also Huddleston helping out. Oh, Remington met strong in a tackle there. Hayes goes to short side. Looks like linking up there with uh, Mears, the fullback. Doesn't get too far. So here we go again. Remington again, another hit up. Oh, he's been picked up, just driven into the turf. So the Seahorses trying to get out of their territory. Mills there with a good run. But also good defence here from Westy. It's the last tackle, and they've only made it 38 from their line. Doolan puts it on the toe. Millerjew is down there waiting for it. It goes over his head and bounces up nicely for him. He finds Fisher. He'll run across field. He's met by Doolan, the kicker. Helped out there by Hayes as well. Millerjew goes in the dummy half. So... Winger running across field now. Gets away from a couple. Can't get away from 21. These two wingers out here, they're having a good little duel. Airs from dummy half. Big number 17. Oh, 8, 17 on the field. That must be Ralston. Payne. Oh, met heavily there by Jones. Pops a beautiful pass, but it's put down by Casey. And the referee say we'll have a scrum. 45 out from the Seahorses line. So, Westy have come here tonight. Their supporters, pretty vocal behind me. But uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be their night. Seahorses leading 22-6. Just becoming a grind this second half. Plenty of big hits. Plenty of good football too. It'll get better as the season goes on. So, uh, just waiting for a ball so we can feed, get the scrum underway. So we get underway. It's uh, Mitchell with the ball. So just halfway through the second half. 22-6. Still time for Westy. Good contact there. O'Brien's wrapped to the ground. 
And we've got a penalty. So that's the first penalty. The, the second half. And the boys, oh, they're into it. Getting very friendly out there. They come in from everywhere now. And uh, players are trying to find their opposite number. I think just swap numbers here. Still going on. This is not good. So the players now, they'll start to break up. The referee's involved. They've got a ball thrown in there. Still going on. And, well, it's not what you want. 22-6 down. You just want to get out of it and play some footy. And uh, the uni boys are trying to break it up. The forwards are in there trying to break it up. The trainers are out there. It's round one. I don't want any lengthy suspensions at this time. So finally, the team split. And uh, we'll see if anything comes from this. The referee, the two touchies are in. They're earning their money tonight. We don't have the uh, the referees mic'd up in second division. It's probably a good thing because you'd probably pick up a lot of uh, expletives from the players as well. And as this happens, the rain is coming back. So hopefully there's not too much in it. So the referees are having a long chat about what happened. Might get a few in the bin here. Might be down to 10 or 11. So the captain's out there now with the ref, just finding out what's going on. It's getting cold out here. Just let them play. So... The Westy captain's coming out now to have a chat, Warmsley. The winger Milliju is also being called out. Well, he come from he come from the far side, so uh, shouldn't be doing that. And he gets ten in the bin. So Westy, you're down to ten already. So Westy down to ten. Isaac Milliju has a ten minute break. Also, the 17's been called out for Westy. So he might be lucky to escape. So it doesn't look like... Oh, yep, they're calling him out now. The cap, both captains are now out in the centre with the ref. So Westy down to 12. And that looks like it's all it's going to be. So, after a dramatic couple of minutes, we find one in the bin. And uh, we'll get play back underway. It looks like it's going to be a seahorse penalty. <clears throat> I don't know what else they got to chat about. Let's just get this game back underway. So, seahorses get the penalty. And with under 20 minutes to go in this game, a golden opportunity to uh, rub this game out. 22-6 are up. Another try will pretty much kill it off. So who will take this hit up? So here we go. Underway. There's going to be some heavy contact here. Here's Gabrielle. He takes it forward, runs into Yankee and Wormsley. Bit of an anti-climax in the end. We've got a penalty. Hand on the ball. And so, another opportunity here for Seahorses. And they're going to kick for touch. That's the Westy supporters starting to get vocal now. What local footy's all about. Back underway now. There's good heavy contact there. Sangster. Met heavily there by Jackson. Gabrieldi's good contact from Wormsley there as well. 12 out from the line. Seahorses can seal it here with another try as the heavens open up again. Doolan shapes to go inside. Finds Jones is charging onto it. I think he slid over in the end. He fell about five metres short and just slid over into the end goal. The referee likes it. Bobby Jones gets his second try of the night. And the Seahorses 26-6 with a kick to come. 
Well, we're just waiting for something to happen. And it's it. The Seahorses getting another try right next to the post. And that will pretty much wrap it up here for University, you would think. West Wall's in. They've tried hard, but they've faded it a bit in, at the back end of each half. But it's been a great effort. It's been a great night here as the rain comes down again. As the Wesley supporters going for cover underneath the, uh, the shelter that Uni has provided. Getting friendly with Mike the cameraman. He's made some new friends tonight. If he's lucky, they might take him back to Westy Workers and shout him a beer. He's done a great job. Doolan, almost in front. No. So we get friendly with the uh, the supporters behind us now. As a duck for cover as well. Doolan strikes it nicely between the sticks and it's now 28 points to 6 University over West Walls End here on Friday Night Football brought to you by Quizmasters Trivia if you're looking for trivia at your local pub get in touch with Quizmasters Trivia as I said earlier I've had a crack at it myself down at the Iron Horse I'm not very good at it but I had a go at it So Smith will get us back underway. And uh, Mears will offload this to the big 25. I don't have him on my sheet. So apologies for that. We'll just call you 25. Here's Jones, the try scorer. He's got a double tonight. And he flicks it out the back from the trouble. So he's got two tries and an offload. Haywood runs across field. So slow play the ball. Howells back out in the field. Kersey throws it back inside. The Sangster breaks the line. If there's a player there running inside, could have been an offload. Hayes at dummy half. Goes for a scamper, making some good metres there. Just gets on the halfway now. So, Rowe will just kick this out of dummy half. It's not going to find the line, but uh, Fisher's there to clean up. West Wall's end, down the 12 men still. Isaac Millerdew in the bin, running in from the wing to get involved with a bit of a melee. Didn't need to be done, but anyway, I'm sure the coach will uh, have some words with him after the game or at training on Tuesday night. So, this is Payne taking it forward. Uh, slow play the ball, trying to milk a penalty. It's not going to happen. Yankee again, charging forward. Done a lot of work for Westy. Goes back inside to uh, Melmoth. Brent Melmoth. And he's lost the ball, but the referee says no. It was been raked out. So Casey will try and boot this downfield as far as he can. Into the wind. And you'll find touch 35 out now from the University try line. Got no ball boys on that far side, so Kale Smith has to run across the cricket wicket to uh, retrieve the ball. Not a bad kick. Not a bad little grubber kick. We get back underway. Melmoth again taking it forward. 25 out now from the University try line. They go through the hands. Yankee. Inside the 20-metre zone. The rain quite heavy out there in the middle. Payne taking a forward. Tr looking for an offload. Takes about three or four university players to wrap him up, eventually putting him to ground. Walsley goes the shot side, finds Casey, links up with Fisher. Good tackle, flicks it out the back to Casey. Ten out now from the university line. He's playing again. Second hit up of this set. Flicks it out the back to Fisher. They've gone backwards there on that play. Maybe that's the plan. Last tackle. Quick play the ball. Walmsley goes for a scamp from dummy half, but he's wrapped up. And uh, that'll be a turnover. And the Seahorses survive another ray from Westy. So 
So Westy are behind 28-6. They don't want to slow the play. They need the ball in their hand. This is just playing right into the Seahorses game here at the moment. So we'll get us back underway. Mears had a safe game at fullback. We'll probably drop the next one now. I've just put the mocker on him. This is Johnny Rowe. 25 out there. We don't have him on our sheet. Apologies. So, Hayes again. He spilt the ball and Westy cleaned it up. And the referee will say we'll have a scrum. I'm just winding him down now. So I'll tell you what, the best place to watch game, a game of footy from Bernie Curran Oval is in these skyscrapers behind us. Well, just to the right of us, I should say. Sit up there in comfort, aerial view, see the plays as they unfold. So, Westy, another opportunity. Casey, he's met there by Mears, and Gabrieldi's also in there to help out. Row also there. I've gone backwards again. Jersey 21 out there for Westy. Not sure who he is either. He's Yankee. So centre field. 20 out from the line. As Begley Huddleston gets it out to Wormsley. Wormsley goes straight. Wrapped up 10 metres out from the line. So they go to the right side through Casey. Links up with Fisher. Offloads to Casey in, puts it on the toe, but the uh, backs went running through. Eventually he goes dead, so we'll have a 20-metre restart. And a uh, bit of a poor end there for Westy in the end. They're trying something, I guess. 28 to 6, they're down. And Hayes will just jog this back at a slow pace, and we'll get back underway. Gabrieldis will take it forward. 25 out now from the try line. So Clark back on the field. It's the local, the university support. They go up and Clark takes the ball forward. Hayes now from dummy half and we've got a knock on. So another opportunity for West Wall's end to score another try. They scored the first one of the night and uh, that's been pretty much it. So they're down to 12 men at the moment. I can see Isaac Millerju on the sideline waiting to come back on. We're back underway. Begley Huddleston goes for a quick tap. Wrapped up 18 metres out from the line. So they go to the left side now. Payne inside pass to Fisher. It's gone to ground. Walmsley's there to clean it up. And we've got to knock on. Just trying to create something, just trying a little too hard, and it's come to ground again. So, Westy are now back to 13 men. Millerjew's back on the field. Oh. Boys are, the boys are in no rush to uh, pack this scrum. Kersey will uh, take his time playing that. That was probably one of the worst feeds into a scrum I've ever seen. I don't even know if it went in the scrum. 21 out from their own line now. And see, the sea also will just <laughs> grind this out, but Westy say, we're going to still come up and belt you. Keep playing footy. We're not going to give up. Oh, a scrappy play the ball, and the ref seen it. So, Westy, get another opportunity. May have had a few hands in there, but uh, just dropped to the ground, and so Westy will get another opportunity. So both teams, the benches are up. A couple of players are waiting to come on the field. Go to the short side. That's Payne. He's been busy for Westy. As I give him a wrap, he spills it out the back, and the Seahorses get it. There's another push and shove there. So the ref will call time off again. And uh, 
Some of the players for Westy and, and the university just got to let it go. It's not long in this game to go. Just play it out. So both teams, they separate again. Jesse Ayers is in there having a chat with the referee. The halfback Kersey from university didn't like something in the tackle. So the referee just going to call the captains out again. He's called Wormsley out. And it looks like he's calling Payne out as well. Well, they're just back to 13 men. They don't want another bloke in the bin. It's Tom Payne out there with the ref. This is Friday Night Footy here of Newcastle and Hunter Rugby League. Brought to you by Quizmaster Trivias. Having a long chat. So just talking to air the centre there. So it looks like the penalty is going to go against Westy. Just waiting to see what the referee is going to rule. Oh, he's not going to rule the penalty. He's just going to say play the ball and get on with it. Well, we could have done that five minutes ago. Right. So. Kersey will play the ball. Well, not sure what's going on here at the moment. So, <laughs> so I think the ref's calling 25 back out on the field after he was on the field. And he's got to play the ball. That's what's happened. So... We're back on the way, finally. No, nope, the ref says take it back. So, well, we weren't planning to be here to midnight, but uh, it's looking like we are. So uh, I hope you're enjoying the coverage here in Bar TV Sport. If you're over in uh, Ireland watching the coverage, it's almost about lunchtime over there. I hope you're enjoying the coverage. So here we go again. 17, Nick Mills. Just about five minutes short of halfway. Uni are up 28 points to six. Been a very good game for the students. Here's Clark, been one of the strongest on the field. Good hard meters there. So Mills again, taking it forward. So Ken Uni post another try. Just to rub salt into the West Wall's end wound. Doolan puts it up high for Miller Jewel. It's a hard one. It's spilled out the back, but Fisher's there to clean it up. And we've got a penalty for offside. So the uni support there. <laughs> Getting up every time uh, Miller Jewel comes near the ball. So now he has to go and uh, play ball boy. Running on the cricket wicket on that far side. So what can West Wall's end come up with here? They've spilt the ball plenty of times. Can they come up with a complete set? That's what the coach will be wanting as Melmoth gets them over halfway. Just grinding themselves away here. Here's Payne. The referee had a couple of words to him earlier on. He's still out there on the field, which is good. So wrestling to the ground, finally down, brought down on the 40-meter uh, zone. Scrappy play the ball, and we got a penalty. That's why it was a scrappy play the ball. So you had hands all over him. So Westy will march this down field a bit further. Now they'll just take a quick tap. Smith will run it, gets away from one, but then eventually wrapped up. 25 out from the line now. Here's Jackson. It's been impressive for Westy. Takes him to 15 centre field. So they come to the right side now through Casey. Fishers out the back, but they go to the 17, which is uh, Nick Arthur. So 
Cuts out Yankee. Finds Jackson. He could be close. Well, he is close. But the referee says, no, not close enough. Fisher. First receiver now. Finds Begley Huddleston. Puts it on the toe. It's the left boot. It's a good kick in the corner. Smith's got it. Has he got the ball down? And the way the referee is just standing there, he's going to award a try. Waiting. Keep this in suspense. He's going to have a chat to the touchy night. No, we're going to come out for a restart. So it looks like it's going to be a handover. Couldn't see what the referee ruled on that far side. So uh, no, he's going to say go back and uh, play the ball. So he's ruled held up. So we get underway again. Begley Huddleston passes to Casey, puts it on the toe, aiming for Fisher, but uh, Mears is there to clean it up. So, Uni survive again. I'll take their time now. I'll just run this out. Mills. Oh, driven back. In the end goal. So, Westy, they're not giving up in defence. They've been outplayed, outclassed here today, but uh, they're certainly willing in defence. And that was a great effort there to push them back into the end goal. So, Kersey gets us underway. Fisher traps it. Good take. Bounced up. Difficult to take. So, Westy, another opportunity. There's a couple of players down in background for uh, Westy. I think it was a bit of a clash of heads. I think that's Remington down on the ground for Uni. And the ref will call time off. So, just got a score update. Over at Tuxford Park, bit of an upset. Katara Bears 24, Shortland 12. So, I'm not sure if that's full time. But, uh, Katara Bears are going to Tuxford Park, and uh, one would say claimed an upset. So, this is bad news. It looks like it's Remington coming off the field here. So the trainer's helping you off, so uh, it's not good to see. Almost through the game, injury-free, and that happens. So disappointing end of the night. So it's going to be Bobby Johnson, Bobby Jones, I should say, coming back on the field. Two tries from the night. So we're about to get underway. Westy with a chance as the... Players help from the field. Round of applause. So we're back underway. They go the right side. Yankee to Casey. Casey looking to link up with Arthur, but doesn't. Ten metres out from the line now. Can Westy get a consolation try? Yankee again. Five short from the line. Walmsley, a long pass out to Begley Huddleston. He runs to the line, almost gets through. That's Fisher with the ball. So, last tackle now for Westy. He went to go to the short side. Payne will run himself. Pops it out the back to Fisher. The ball's still alive. Casey, clever. Puts it on the toe, but it's gone to ground. Westy gets six to go. Goes through the hands. And oh, eventually on the ground was uh, Jordan Waller. Arthur. 15 out from the line. Westy with another set here. He tries to pinch a few more metres, but the referee says, no, I'll give you a penalty instead. So another set of six for Westy. Yankee will just take it forward. The only way he knows. Five out from the line. Westy looking for their second try. This is Jackson. He's been strong. Two metres out from the line. So they go to the left side. Begley Huddleston out the back. Decoy runner. It looks like it's Payne with the ball. Just short. Must be on the line out there. Very close. They go to Smith out there. There's about six defenders out there for Uni. And he somehow stays in stays in the field of play. Milljew will go himself down the shortest of corridors. And again, the university defence hold him out. 
Uh, through the hands again. Kick across field. It's nobody out here. Oh, it's been put down. Wallace stuck his hand out. And that'll be the ball game. University Seahorses claiming victory over West Walls End. It's been a great game of football here at Bernie Curran Oval. Thanks to uh, Quizmasters Trivia bringing you Friday night football. University too strong, getting over West Walls End. I hope you've enjoyed the coverage at home, and we'll see you back here next week. I'm Paul Arendale signing out. Thanks to Mike, the cameraman. It's been a great night. See you next week.